I know what you're thinking. It's about time you showed up. And I've been thinking the same thing. It's about time you showed up. Listen, I don't think there's any review that has been more highly requested than this one. Upon further review, I decided it's appropriate to do a part two, round two, testing these on some different hairs. Lee! Now, mother, I know that these are not yours, but we're going to do a curly hair routine on you while we're here on vacation, because you know what they say. When in Rome, or rather, when in Mexico. This video is also a low-key side-by-side tutorial showing you the difference between layering your products and cocktailing them or mixing them together. Sit back, relax, and let's see how this holds up. <laughs> Hello, what's good, everybody? If you are new to the channel, then hi. I am your main girl, Mel. I am a curly hairstylist, and I am a content creator in Canada, hence why I have not been able to make this video. Sorry for the delay, we are finally here. Not that these products are available in Canada yet, but I got my hands on them, and I am, well, let's just say my expectations are high, okay? This product line is the Not Your Mother's. This is the Curl Talk To Go Mini Styling Set, which I feel like is a great place to start. I'm gonna be reviewing their Defining Cream, Curl Activating Mousse and the Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. Obviously, this is still in the package, so this is going to be a first impressions review. Therefore, I am going to be very critical and very, just very honest about my first time experience trying these so that my Canadians also know what we're really missing out on. Okay, am I right? And I'm going to be following the instructions as seen on the package because that's what many of you may be doing at home when you're shopping for new curly hair products, you haven't tried them out yet, you don't know what you're doing, the first thing you're gonna do is follow the instructions on the tube. So without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so getting right into it. This is what the box suggests. Well, it says all products are safe for natural and color treated hair. This is a cruelty free brand. The line is cruelty free. I don't believe it's vegan though. We're gonna try it anyways. It also has no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, no dyes, no phthalates. These are the buzzwords that many curly people are looking for. I'm looking for results. I don't really care what's in it. And you know what? This is a perfect date to try this because it is super humid, wet, and rainy outside. So it'll be interesting to see how this does. So it says, pro tip to create the perfect styling cocktail, mix together equal parts, cream and gel for a defined curl without the crunch. For long lasting curls, finish with the mousse. That's the styling routine I want to be trying. Maybe on one half of my head, maybe on the other half of my head, I'm gonna style how I usually would using these types of products. All together now. And if we could all just take a moment to appreciate the purple vibes. They're immaculate. Immaculate. Okay, so first, the Curl Talk Defining Cream. We always wanna start with a moisturizing cream, especially if you have more dry hair. This is said to define, add shine, and defrizz and create maximum definition with long lasting elasticity and shine. On the bottle, it directs to apply on damp hair. My hair is damp, it's not soaking wet. And again, on this side, I'm gonna try cocktailing. Ooh, I'm gonna try cocktailing this in the gel. Okay, so let's go in. We're gonna start off with this amount here. That looks like a great amount because I would take probably twice as much as that for this section, but I'm gonna mix that with the gel. Um, and this does smell very fragranced. It's nice, but that might be a little powerful, especially when pairing it with this. So this is the Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. It says it will keep your look flake free and locked in place with a firm yet flexible hold. Level three out of five hold. Flexible and flake free. It is saying flake free multiple times. So let's see, as we are going to be cocktailing this is a great tip if you like to mix products together at home or you do notice that products get flaky on your head, it's because the products you're using might not mix well together. Products that mix well together, I'm just gonna add an equal amount here. Products that cocktail well together will mix smoothly and create just a smooth lotion. If they don't mix well, they will get really clumpy. It did mix very smooth and I'm just going to rake this through my hair before going in and defining my curls with a styling brush. Um, this is gonna be interesting because I truly do not usually brush through my gel So I'm excited to see what this might do for me. 
What it will typically do is give you even more definition and even stronger hold, but I personally do like more volume, fluffy, soft looking curls with hold, which is why I apply my gel after defining. And I'll show you that on the other side of my hair so we'll be able to compare. It seems to be gliding through okay. Okay, so far so good. Now for that extra hold, I'm gonna take the Curl Activating Mousse, which actually only has level two out of five hold on here. It says it's a soft, touchable hold, but let's hope it gives me the long-lasting humidity control that it claims to give. It also says it helps to provide protection against environmental stressors. Shake vigorously. She's a fluffy whip. Wow, I haven't used a mousse like this in a long time. This is a true, true mousse. Different from a foam. Mousse and foam, not the same. This, um, I keep sniffing it because, I don't know, I'm smelling something kind of weird. I don't, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I'm just gonna, I guess, put it on my hairs. It says to start applying at your roots and work your way down. That can be aggressive, especially for beginning stylers, because the last thing you want to do is plop products directly on your roots. But what I like to do is just distribute like this first. I want to make sure that I get it evenly everywhere, especially if you are relying on this for hold and you want, you know, even humidity protection. You want to make sure this gets all over and then scrunch. This is a curl activating mousse. It should hopefully help to give a lot of bounce and spring to the curls. So far, everything's looking and feeling good. Let's try it out how I would apply my products because I don't usually mix. I don't cocktail. I drink cocktails but I do not usually cocktail my styling products. I do like to in the shower. Sometimes I'll mix some conditioners together, get some multiple benefits. But when it comes to stylers, I like to layer. So we begin with our first prepping product that's gonna give us the moisture that we need. <laughs> if you don't know who she is, this is my mumsy. She's the ponytail mom who today is converting from ponytail and straight to curly wavy, baby. This is her hair out of the shower. She didn't even brush it. It's been drying a little bit now, so um, we're gonna spray it down with some water. I'm taking a spray bottle with just water, just to resaturate her hair because it's already been drying. And I'm sorry, but before we go in with the Not Your Mother's Routine, we are going to use one additional product that isn't Not Your Mother's, just for a little heat and UV protection. I'm using the Bumble Bumbles Hairdresser Invisible Oil Primer. I'm just going to brush that through. I don't want to drip product on her shoulders, so we're going to apply our towel here. This is the Perfect Hair Care X Means by Mel Purple Zebra Print Towel here. This is the mini scrunching towel, which we will be using. Just keep that around her shoulders. How are you doing, Mumsy? Good. Are you getting hungry? Yes. <laughs> we're going for an Italian dinner. And now we shall begin with the Curl Talk Defining Cream. Now that looks just about right for, for her hair. When I gather it in a ponytail behind me, the circumference is matching. And I'm doing my exact styling routine using the Tangle Teaser Wet Detangler because it's the only brush that we brought. It'll do everything for us. Mumsy is a fiend for the brush against her scalp, as we all are. She, she'll just ask me to brush her hair for days. Isn't that right, Mumsy? Yes. I I actually ask you to go harder and harder. <laughs> go as hard as you can, I love it. Uh, she's got a tough scalp and coarse, thick hair, so she can take a beating. From an ingredients perspective here, this does have shea butter ethyl esters. As one of the first ingredients, shea butter is a very heavy ingredient, but if it is formulated in the right way, and this is the ethyl esters, it's been processed in a way to be a little more lightweight while still giving you a lot of that moisturizing that you may need, especially if you are high porosity, like me, and color treated. It has polyquaternarium 72. It also has keratin amino acids. Amino acids are a type of strengthening ingredient similar to proteins, and these are gonna be repairing ingredients, film forming ingredients to help, you know, provide that barrier from the outdoors. And these can also be curl enhancing. Curly hair is naturally higher porosity, more like medium to high porosity. Low porosity is very rare. And there are certainly benefits to using stylers that have a little bit of protein here and there to give your hair a little balance and a taste of all the things that it may need. Now, I think I need a little bit of water because I'm talking. I really should not be talking. I should be on vocal rest, but I do not rest. I will not rest until my hair is done. 
So I'm gonna take a healthy amount of the cream. This looks about right for me. I'll show you what I mean. Take this section. It's how we measure. That is how we measure how much product I may need. And going in to apply, hmm, this is so the cream on its own. You know what? It feels very emollient, meaning I can feel the product going on to the hair. It's not being completely absorbed right in by my hair. It doesn't feel water-based, and of course it isn't. There is, again, shea butter is one of the first ingredients. It's definitely more of the emollient. You can feel that. I can feel that going on my hair. More now than when I mix the gel, which is interesting. I guess the gel diluted it and watered it down. I mean, the first ingredients of the gel are water and glycerin, which are a lot more hydrating. So that might have given me a little bit more of balance there. So now I'm going to define with just the cream and then a layer on the gel and show you what we do with the mousse. Defining with just the cream, so not brushing through your gel, will give you softer results. And if you are seeking for more hold and definition, then you may want to brush your gel through. This video is also a low-key side-by-side tutorial showing you the difference between layering your products and cocktailing them or mixing them together. Sipping on tea, please, but not with your mommy. So now we've smoothed that through. I'm gonna apply the Curl Talk Frizz Control Sculpting Gel. And we're really going to kind of praying hands into her hair, praying that this is gonna do a good job. It's not a very liquidy gel. Oh, damn it! Five second rule, it's fine. Um, it's a, it does feel smooth. It's a very nice consistency, not too liquidy, but it's not too thick. I don't like thick gels that I can't glide over my strands like so. And I feel a little bit of resistance, but it's gonna be very gentle. So I still want an even application. I still want to make sure I get every strand, but I don't like to brush it through. I just like to glide it over um, when I want a softer result. And we'll get scrunching with the mousse. I will scrunch with the mousse. I forgot to shake vigorously and it already, damn it. I might have to try that again. It's soup. We're gonna try that again. We're gonna tip it upside down and squeeze. And I'm gonna distribute and then scrunch right over the gel. And lastly, we're going in with the Curl Talk Curl Activating Mousse. Let's activate those curls. This was my favorite product when I had tried it. So high hopes here that it will do the full job that we need it to do. Her hair is not as tight of a curl. She needs more hold, so I'm layering the mousse on top of the gel. Now for her bangs, I am just going to do a little finger coil twirl just to define them. Her bangs definitely get naturally pretty curly because the cowlicks do not play. And we are working with those cowlicks today. I am just curling in the direction where her curl is showing it wants to go. Good scrunching here. And finally, there's a lot of water and a good amount of product in there. We're going to do our scrunching with the Perfect Hair Care X Means by Mel Purple Zebra scrunching towel that came with the big towel that's currently on my head. Using a towel to scrunch is going to help to remove any of that excess water out of her hair while also encouraging that curl to spring upwards. But specifically, the benefits of this towel is that it is so smooth that it's not going to create any kind of frizz as I am doing this. Her hair looks super defined and she never wears her hair curly. So this is magical. It's already looking very promising. Mommy, could you describe the feeling of this towel? Wow, it's very soft. It's very soft. Does it feel like a towel? No. It really doesn't feel like a towel. It's not your ordinary microfiber towel. This is like it's like silky. Nanofiber. Nibre, yeah. Towel. <laughs> like it's smooth. Smooth. Completely. That's very smooth. Okay, this looks fabulous so far. I do want to make sure we have good volume in the roots, but I'm not going to be using your traditional two prong root clips um, because those I find can give you a lot of breakage if they're placed in the hair wrong. We're going to use some bobby pins. It's going to aerate the area of the scalp so that it can breathe, so that the roots can dry faster. Probably a good idea to count how many that you put in there so you know how many to take out of there once the hair is dry. But the hair is already pretty well dry. We've scrunched everything in. 
You can go ahead, get ready for dinner, and we'll see you with the results before we hit the hay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go diffuse as I usually would, doing my favorite diffusing technique for maximum definition, but still volume. It's the hover diffuse. I'll put a tutorial here if you wanna see that, uh, but I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. We're ready to finish off her hair, but oh my God. Can you just see this definition? I'm gonna take out our bobby pins, which gave her so much root lift. We also diffused her hair. We did the hover diffuse, of course, and then scrunched. And so, of course, she's got a ton of volume in her roots from that, but the pins really helped to set that in place. I have placed five total bobby pins in her roots. And to finish, I'm gonna put in some of the Unite U oil because this has UV protection, and she obviously loves her son. I also have the Italian skin, Mom. I have the olive you skin. You do? So and you also love strong. your son. I do. Oh my God, Mom, what do you think? Love it. And we'll give my you girls guys an update. Take, take care of and me. We'll... <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> and she got a bond for me. How, like, you know, how amazing is that? I love her. What can I say? So let me see if my hair this curly. You look great, sweetie. Thank you. Bye. And we're back. So this is where we're at. And yes, she is crispy. Okay, so this is the hold so far. Look at look at the hair. Kind of sounds like a wind chime. Now let's see how this holds up when I scrunch. I don't want to scrunch with just naked hands because the more you touch your hair without any kind of moisture barrier, you're gonna increase frizz. But I do want to see how this feels. It doesn't feel producty. It doesn't feel heavy. But I'm just gonna add a little bit of a very light oil to soften out this crunch. Okay. I will say I am seeing a difference in the layering. The curls look more defined on this side compared to the side where we cocktailed as per directed. Um, it still looks good. It feels very soft, but I feel like the curls just don't feel as ringlety and defined as they as they look on the layered side. Just something to keep in mind. Let's see how this holds up in a couple days. It's the same day and I wanted to come and update you because I just sat outside for, how long were we outside? Uh, an hour. An hour? Uh, it is 88% humidity today, okay? It's been raining, it's 88% humidity. We're already seeing big differences on the cocktailing side compared to layering, okay? That is, that is it. I will be back in a couple days so we can see the full longevity of it. So far, so good, at least over here. Very interesting. We'll be back. Update. Update. Good morning. The bonnet stayed on and the results turn, are turn around, mommy. off. Hey, look at this hair. Take a look at this hair. Do you like it, mommy? How does it feel? Beautiful. It feels so soft. Would you wear your so hair like this more often? Uh, yes, if it's gonna stay with the products, yeah. It it's, as long as it doesn't get fuzzy. In translation, if Melissa's gonna do it for me. Not your like mothers, it. on our mothers. All right, and we're back. It has not been very long. It's been two days. This wash day showed its true colors very quickly. Now, while it doesn't look bad, I gotta tell you this, bestie. And I'm gonna be honest because, look, I, don't, I have no loyalty here. You're not my mom! So let's go over some of my final thoughts. Now, I definitely don't think that uh, following their pro tip gave me the perfect styling cocktail because cocktailing my products has never usually worked for me and clearly it didn't work in this situation. Um, so that's something to note. Uh, I would definitely go in layering these products and also be very wary of your hair type. So my hair type, which is naturally dry, just feels really dry right now. This product line has not impressed me very much when it comes to holding up in humidity and longevity. Although the, the layering, the product side looks good, I am concerned. I am concerned for my elasticity. 
my hair uh, does, does not really feel soft and bouncy, not very stretchy. It honestly feels dry and brittle. That does scare me. And I think I know why it's happening. So these products do have protein in them. A lot of the times when your hair feels really dry and brittle, and especially if it feels sticky and it's breaking, it might just be that you, you have too much protein in your hair. But these products have amino acids, which tend to be smaller. I don't think there was really that much. And also my hair loves protein. It takes a lot to get protein overload. But I truly think the problem was is that there wasn't enough balance of moisture. So the Curl Defining Cream, which is a styling cream, which is different from a leave-in, wasn't actually very hydrating. Although it was very creamy and silky, it was definitely more emollient, which helps to kind of seal the outer strand of the cuticle of your strand but it definitely didn't feel like a hydrating product in the ingredients there's pretty much no such thing as a humectant and whenever you're starting your routine with your leave-in conditioner the beginning of your routine is when you really want to add all your products that are going to be hydrating before you add on your emollient products that are going to help to lock in that moisture so I just think it kind of set, set me up for failure. I'm not gonna say that I like the cream. It just, on its own, was definitely not moisturizing enough, especially not for the Frisch Control Sculpting Gel and the Curl Activating Mousse. Now, of course, you saw me use both the mousse and the gel on my hair. I wouldn't always use both of those together unless I needed a lot of strong hold. They gave me good hold when they were used together, but on its own, I'm not sure I would trust the first control gel. I honestly prefer the feel of the mousse. And when I look at the mousse's ingredients, it also reads to be a formula that is going to react better in humidity, which is something that I would need more of right now. So I am more of a fan of the mousse and I did really like the feel of it too. So I think of all of the products that I tried, the curl activating mousse might just have been my favorite, but overall this whole wash day has not been my favorite. That being said, these are just my opinions. And although I had been a slightly little bit disappointed in this wash day, I know that this wash day works for many people. So if this cocktail, these products work well for you, or you have other products that you like to use from Not Your Mother's, do let us know your routine in the comment section below. If this routine works for you, continue doing it. Now at least if you don't have these products available to you, I hope you found this video helpful sharing with you the difference between cocktailing versus layering. And so that's kind of all you need to know. Let me know what other reviews you would like to see now that I finally brought you a review of these. And make sure you subscribe to this channel to see all the future videos. We put out new videos on this channel each and every Texture Tuesday and I hope to see you in the next one. This has been the main girl Mel and I am out. Peace. My voice is not here with us today. We're all going to just say we miss her. Um, and we're going to thank my curly cuisine who you've seen on this channel, okay? She's the one who brought this over for me. I think she got it from Ulta. That was ultra of her. Great, this is great. Cocktailing, layering as means by Mel usually does to infinity and beyond. I'm gonna go diffuse now. I'm beyond. My bowels, my bowels. I got my bowels. I be Looks, 10 out of 10. Feels, scary. And we'll see you with the resorts before we... Hi. <laughs> Why are you so much more 10 than I am?